Hello, welcome to my page. And uh, my name is Aldo Kuliander. I'm with the Black Clan, Black Illuminati. We are talking about the war in Ukraine and what is going down. And uh, it's been one year now since the war in Ukraine. And from what I can understand, the war is ramping up. And uh, the Western leaders are sending more weapons to Ukraine, fighter jet, tanks, bombs, artillery, anything that they can get a hand on, just not to lose the war against Putin in Russia. And what's interesting is that the Western leaders don't want to give up. They're in it for the long haul. That's what they're saying. They're in it for the long haul. And it's in interesting to see how they are doing, how they are trying to, to, to gear up Ukraine to win this war against the big, big country like Russia. Russia has the Wagner, Wagner group that is working for them. And uh, they haven't even mobilized yet, Russia. So Ukraine is in for a big, big, big problem from what I can see. And uh, I don't know if, if it's good to send weapons to Ukraine or if it's bad. If it's good for Europe or if it's bad for Europe. I think war is something that brings money to the families that is dealing with, with weapons that is selling weapons and manufacturing weapons. And it's important to know that uh, the more weapons that are sent to Ukraine, the bigger the war. My question is, is this the start of World War III? I think it is the start of World War III. World War III will not be like World War II was, where they were dropping bombs everywhere and chemical weapons and burning people and blowing up people and stuff. This will be another kind of war. It will be different. It will be like, uh, you know, economic war and, uh, you know, cold war and stuff like that. Uh, so it will be a different kind of war for, for, for the people that will be involved in it. And uh, Putin will not give up. Russia will not give up. They are surrounded by NATO. And uh, Finland and Sweden are, are trying to join NATO. Turkey is holding... Sweden from, from joining the NATO after the burning of the Quran. So it's important to know that uh, there is a lot of heat going on now in Europe. Once again, 100 years after World War, World War II. We're in for World War III. And what is, what is terrifying is that people don't know what is happening. People are seeing that they are sending weapons, but they don't know what is happening. And uh, you have to follow the news frequently to know exactly what is what is going on, and you have to follow the the military blogs and military uh, videos that is aired from Ukraine and from Russia, and you have to follow different kind of news to see to get a hold of what is really going on, and this is what I'm what I'm trying to do. So. I think that we are in World War Three. I think that we are. It. it hasn't broken out yet, but this is what is next. So stay updated and let me know what you think.